All right, hey guys. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an animation with Photoshop. Um, this is what the final thing is gonna look like. Um, so it's right now it's probably gonna look kind of laggy just because of the capturing it on a video. It'll look a lot smoother when you actually make it. Um, so let's just get started. So you're gonna want to start, open a new project, make it the dimensions you want, then just put in your text. So in this case it's I I what's his name? Oh yeah. Surfing. Okay. So you do that. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now you're gonna want to make well okay yeah, let's do that first so you're gonna want to make the big letter at the bottom so that is going to be an S make that a lot bigger it's gonna be different colors in this one but that'll be fine okay so then you're gonna put a new layer and you're gonna click on um, gradient tool. They go to the cold down shift and then slide it over like this to make those lines. Then you're just going to want to erase all this excess stuff other than this one little line. So just erase all of this. So there's that one line you see. Alright. So erase all that. So this is the line we have right here. So you're going to want to put it to the side where it's going to start. I'm going to add a little bit of a glow to it, so go to Blending Options. Then go to Outer Glow. Change that to white. Make the spread a little bit bigger. Size a little bit bigger, so it glows a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to go down to, you're going to open the window, the animation window. Right there. Then you're going to click on Add um new layer then you're going to then this is where it's going to end like the animation is going to end so you're going to move it over here and then at the end I want the s to glow a little bit so you're going to go to blending options go to editor glow do the same thing as we did before make it white make the spread a little bit bigger make the size a little bit bigger that looks good okay now you're going to go down to these little circles down here, uh, that, and then I usually make it 10 to 15, so I'll set it to 15. Okay, now go click back on the first, um, first part, click on those circles again, and then go to tween with. Instead of next frame, click on last frame, and just hit OK again. Then, um, go to the word that the lines hovering over top of, so swag surfing. Hold hold that down and then drag it down to this little square with a circle in it. And it'll make this little black square in it. Then you're gonna drag that black square into the layer one, which is the line that's hovering over top of it. So then it goes inside of it. Now when you play, it's gonna look like this. It gradually gets bigger. And it goes back. Alright. So, that's basically it. So, then after that, you, just, you can do whatever you want to edit it. Go to Save for Web and Devices. Just let this thing load. Alright. Now, make sure that at the top, it, there's um all these different type of pictures you want it to be on, the format. And just put it on GIF. Click on save. Save it to wherever you want. I'll save it to desktop. Alright. Save that. And then when you then you're gonna go to whatever you want to use. I use photo bucket, but there's also tinypick.com and all that. So just click on upload now. Make sure you have an account first. Um select photos and videos. Now find the picture that you made. 
right here. Then you let this load. And then there's only certain sites you can use this on because you to make sure that the picture is actually moving, you're going to copy the direct link that I'll show you how to get that. And then you put that in the bar that you use it for. For me, I use the tech game. And I upload it, and there's a little bar that you put the direct link into, and then you save it, and it uploads it. So this is taking a while. Not sure why it's so long. Today. Come on, today. All right, but so you upload that. Oh, I think it's uploaded. Why is it taking so long? Come on. The more, the bigger the picture is going to be, the longer it's going to take, obviously. It's being a pain in the ass. Alright, so when you get this, you're going to go to your picture. Now. Go to the picture that you made. And then, it's go then when you highlight over, it's going to say email I am, direct link, HTML code. So click on the direct link and it automatically copies it for you. And then go to the site that you're using it for. And you just put that in the address bar and then you're set to go. And that's about it. Alright. So thanks for watching and please comment, rate, and subscribe.